But first, I want to talk a little bit. This picture is meant to represent the second spring, the beautiful, beautiful time when all women are incredibly happy. Now, in China, menopause is called the second spring. It is certainly not what it's called in the United States. And there are several reasons for that. One, menopause is not difficult in China. It's very uh, mild, much milder than it is here in the United States. And that's true in many countries around the world that men menopause is much less painful and uncomfortable than it is here in the US. Part of that reason in China is that women retire younger, so they're not working at stressful jobs, uh, which they should not be doing as they get older, because it takes more and more adrenal hormone release, which actually puts them in much greater danger. Uh, also, generally in China, women have children a little younger, and so and fewer children, obviously. So their kids are out of the house by the time they hit menopause. Uh, also. Women in China are not exposed to quite as many external estrogen sources. And so here, as women go from the high estrogen of their menstruating years to their very low estrogen of menopause, it's like falling off a cliff. Well, in China, that cliff isn't as high. So it's not as frightening for women. Plus, they don't have the stresses of work, which is a huge, or stresses of anything really, which is a huge cause of menopausal uh, symptoms. And then again, not having kids that are going to create more stress. So it's just a much, much easier transition. And my goal in working with my patient base is to work with them before they hit menopause, when they're in pre or perimenopause, and help prepare them for a much easier transition. And believe me, it can be much, much easier. 